you can wear out your SSD much faster if you're using it in an old computer with older operating systems. Modern operating systems since Windows Vista Service Pack 1, they are aware of what a SSD is, they know how to partition them properly and look after them. Older operating systems like MS-DOS, Windows 98 and Windows XP, well, they know what a hard drive is, a mechanical hard drive. They have no concept of a SSD. This is a Western Digital 120GB ID hard drive and it uses a sector size of 512 bytes. In times, capacities got larger. Here we have a 4TB SATA hard drive and they switched to a advanced format. So here the sector size increased to 4 kilobytes. So now there's a misalignment between the actual physical partitions that the hard drive uses and what the operating system thinks is going on. And this can cause things to overlap and what happens is a single read or write operation can sometimes result in an operation that takes twice as long and that means you will lose performance. Performance isn't really a concern with SSDs, they have basically instantaneous access time and also the transfer rates are really high. But SSDs are built totally different compared to a mechanical hard drive. They use NAND memory cells. Each NAND memory cell has a limited life. Every time you write to a NAND cell, its life is reduced. The actual data is also organized differently into what's called blocks and pages. Reading from the SSD has no impact on the life of the memory cells. When a NAND block contains information, new data cannot simply be written over the existing information. The block must first go through an erase step before it's ready to receive new data. However, while a NAND flash can be written a page at a time, it can only be erased a block at a time. All these complications mean that the SSD is constantly managing the physical locations of information and rearranging data for the most efficient use of pages and blocks. Now when your partitions are misaligned and there's an overlap, this additional movement of stored data means that the amount of data physically written to the NAND cells is some multiple of the amount of data that you're actually trying to save onto the computer. So on a mechanical hard drive, having misaligned partitions can reduce the performance, but on an SSD, it actually impacts the life of the NAND cells. Lucky for us, we can use software to make sure that the partitions are correctly aligned. Here we are on a Windows XP retro gaming PC and I've just installed the operating system on a team group one terabyte SSD. I like using the mini tool partition wizard, right click on your drive or your partition and select align. Because the drive hosts the operating system it will restart and then align partitions it will have to reshuffle some data so this is best done right after installing the operating system and not once you've installed a ton of games then the process will take a lot longer. If you're using MS-DOS or Windows 98, you can use a SATA drive USB enclosure. So this gives you USB on one end and you insert your hard drive into the enclosure and then connect it to your modern computer and let's align the partitions this way. I will also mention two methods to check if your partitions are misaligned or aligned. The first one is called ASSSD benchmark and you basically run it and if you see in red something that says bad then the partition is uh, misaligned and if it says in green okay then the partition is aligned. Another way is accessing the system information and going to the disks sub menu. Then you take the number for the partition starting offset divided by 4096. If you get a integer, a whole number, a non-decimal number, then the partition is aligned. But if you're getting a decimal number, it also conf confirms that your partition is misaligned. Again, we can use mini tool partition wizard, right click on the drive or the partition and choose align. A second method, which is a little bit safer because you're taking a image of your existing hard drive. I'm using the free software. It's called AOMEI Backupper. And you basically uh, backup the drive, take an image. And when you restore the drive, you select a little option that says SSD alignment. 
Now I've done partition alignment on all sorts of machines and drives, not just SSDs, but also SD cards, CF cards and hard drives. With Windows XP, I highly recommend you run the partition software directly on the Windows XP machine. It can fail if you use the method shown with an enclosure, but using MS-DOS and Windows 98, I find using a USB adapter works really well. Now, what about trim? I often get asked this question and I reached out to Team Group and they basically saying they're designing the SSDs and the firmware with operating systems in mind that don't run trim. So you shouldn't have too many issues. If you are really concerned, again, stick it into an enclosure, plug it in and then click on the optimize uh, menu when you right click on the drive and you get the options. It will perform a manual trim. And another trick is not using the entire capacity, maybe half or two thirds, and then the SSD has enough empty memory cells it can use to shuffle the data around and look after the life of the NAND memory cells. I have two storage videos that you might enjoy. The first one is installing Windows 98 on SD cards, and the other one is using a SATA to IDE converter to use SATA drives on old computers that use IDE interfaces. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon with another one.